hey, so I've decided to make this a video. Um, doing up, can't see it, me brother's bike. I don't mean rebuilding it or any crap like that. I'm just making it look all nice because he, <laughs> he doesn't have any time to, to do it. Yeah, so I've decided to take off the plastics and get them looking all nice. Now, I only decided to make this video uh, today and I started doing this yesterday, so I took some photos, so I'll uh, check them up so you can see what it looked like before. So to get these looking like this, I started with just a razor blade and I just scratched it along just to shave off uh, the top layer of the plastic to, to get out any of the shallow scratches. I couldn't get out any of the any of the super deep ones, but um, it's definitely a lot better than what it was. All right, so I decided to open the garage door because it was just way too hot in here. And somebody took my fan, Jesse. Right, these are these are pretty good. Uh, I'm pretty happy with them. They're nice and smooth and looking way better than they were. My plans for this are I might I might get him some new bark busters or see if I can get this replacement plastic. I've got to fix his seat. I might get him a new seat cover, clean up the exhaust. I might get him a bling pack. I'll try and clean up his his wheels get them a bit shinier and i might get spoke wraps red spoke wraps hopefully some fork guard graphics that's all the plan we'll see see how far we get with that and also i want to oil his clutch cable his his uh his clutch is a little bit sticky at the moment so i'm gonna try and fix that so yeah see how we go They're just outside drying, out in the sun. The next task is your seat. Our last ride, he snapped off this bit, attaches the seat to the fuel tank. Now, I don't have the plastic bit, but it's meant to go in there. So I am just gonna try and make something. This bit, this side is snapped off. So I'm gonna bend this so it goes up, over, and down. And I'll put screws there, 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 there. And then cut out, cut out a little groove in there for it to, for it to slide into there. That's my plan. he had in them were just a little bit weak it wasn't holding it on uh, it was holding it on well but not not super sturdy so I just chucked a couple more in that had some had some deep threads in it and uh, and yeah it works now it's on and that works perfectly he's been talking about cutting down his seat a bit so he's got a little bit more height on him so I think I might do that for him too next on the agenda I take the seat cover off and, and cut this foam down a bit I think it's at a at a good uh, good shape now. I've just rounded off these sides, cut in cut in a bit deeper where the legs go there, so it's a little bit more comfy when you sit on it. Because before it was a bit square, but now I think it's good. Anyway, I opened up a can of worms that <laughs> I really shouldn't have because now I'm going to commit to it. Anyway, his frame it doesn't 
doesn't look too good. Well, like, it looks fine. But I accidentally got curious and chucked some polish on this. And now that I've done that, I gotta do it to the rest of it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the curiosity got the better of me, so I started on the exhaust. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Fine, I did it. I've also just discovered something. Jesse's back wheel has been really squeaky lately. If you look in here, he's got no pads left. Let's fix that. Road trip. Woo! Got him. All right, so we got the pads. Now we just gotta slap him on. See this? No pad. This? Pad. Hmm. Didn't use marine grease here. So that's the brake pads in. I'm not actually going to uh, put the axle back through and fit the wheel on yet because we've got a, a surprise for tomorrow. I guess so I guess we'll wait for that. Now he does actually need a new rotor too. I forgot to get one. So Jess, you, you can chuck a new rotor on. You can do that. Eh. Yeah. I'm not doing it. Yeah, good day, mate. Just wondering if you've got a, a rear disc rotor for an 08C CRF 450X? You do. Right. Stupid. 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 Yeah. I did it. Uh. All right. So, KMX store has hooked a brother up. <laughs> hooked a brother up for a brother. <laughs> we have a new seat cover. Let's have a look at that. Wow. That's, that looks comfy as. New hand grips. New bark busters. A bling pack. Spoke wraps. Now, I don't know if you want to call this a gift for me or him. But I got him a new battery, because I'm sick of waiting for him to kick his bike over. Alright, let's get into this.
So that, that's all them parts on, except this piece, which is here, but all the screws are stripped out. I managed to get this cap on. I couldn't find any countersunk screws, so I just had to use these M4 6mm uh, little bolts I had. Now onto the clutch cable. Try and clean out the clutch cable and lube it up and try and make it a bit easier to use. So yeah, let's do that. So that's that. I cleaned up his uh, his clutch cable. It's it's a little frayed on uh, on both ends. Not not badly, but it is a little bit frayed. So he probably just has to change that. That's something I'm not going to do because the routing of the cable is all in throughout the radios. And yeah, that's uh, that'd take a bit of effort to do. It. And I don't really want to do it. Also, his kill switch here was just a bit shaky because the metal wasn't really gripping onto much there so I just slid a bit of a bit of rubber under uh, where it tightens on so now it's gripping to the rubber and the bars. It finally came. See I was somewhat stressing about this. I thought it wasn't gonna come in time. The new graphic. We're currently in the middle of moving house right now. We're gonna be heading off not tomorrow but the next day. So I really don't really have time to do this but I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm excited to see what it looks like. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Say hi, you're now in the video. No! Well, I'm putting it in, so whatever you do no, next is gonna be in. Whatever you do is gonna be in. Hi guys, I love motorbikes. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> 
here we are, three weeks later, back on the front lawn, where it all started. I was sitting here washing the bike for him, and I'm like, you know what, let's see what I can do to this bike. When he left it with me, he didn't even want to wash it. It was just sitting there right after a ride, dirty as crap. And I was like, nah, <laughs> nah this can't happen. I spent a lot of hours on this, I had a lot of fun doing the whole thing. A lot of frustration, <laughs> but yeah, it was definitely worth it. Um, yeah, I guess, I guess that's it, Yes, I uh, hope you like it. Now I'm going to load this bike up so we can uh, start heading to Cops. See you soon. Thank you.